What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm watching Shannon Sharp's interview with uh, Fat Joe. And Shannon Sharp in the interview is wearing, wearing some uh, Jordan shoes, right? And a commenter left a, a subscriber or somebody watching the video left a comment and said, I see Shannon Sharp rocking the Jordans. Why not bronze? You his biggest fan. So this is the thing I noticed. A lot of the LeBron James haters or Michael Jordan fanatics always use, uh, you know, Jordan's shoe sales as a as proof of him being the GOAT, right? Now, I have Michael Jordan number one overall, and I got LeBron James number two. But it's not because of no damn shoe, right? Um, do I believe that Jordan's stature and his status in the game helps help the shoe sales? Yes, especially initially. When the shoes first came out, because marketing was done very well back in the day, and it was more believable. I do believe a lot of kids were very impressionable impressionable, and thinking that if you bought the Jordan shoes, you could jump like Mike and jump as high as he could, right? And I do believe that, yeah, like people saw his playing style and wanted to buy the shoes initially, and that's how it gained his popularity with him dominating on the court without question. But if Michael Jordan's shoes look like them damn Kobe 2s that y'all showed me, them astronaut shoes, them shoes that look like toasters on somebody's feet, if Michael Jordan's shoe looked like that, he would have nowhere near the amount of shoe sales that he has now, okay? The thing is, Jordan's shoes sell the most really because it's a flyer shoe than everybody else's shoe. And I do believe that his stature has helped like people like want to I do believe it, 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 um, Nike's team, like, yo, we got to make this shoe, this, that, and the third or whatever. And I do think that people went out to buy the shoe because, uh, yo, especially at the beginning, because, yo, this is Jordan, you know, he's, you know, he's, um, an amazing, outstanding player. But again, if his shoe looked like, uh, um, the Sha Shaq shoes or, um, if they look like the Starberries, if they look like, the Kobe 2, the Kobe 2 is a prime example. Them, them shoes is horrible with Adidas. He wouldn't be selling them. No, it, it wouldn't be getting sold out like the, the way it does. No matter if he, no matter how he performed on the court, no matter, no matter uh, what lore was attached to Michael Jordan, people would not be running about his shoe. The fact of the matter is, his shoe is just more stylish, and you can wear them with everyday clothing. You can wear them with, you know, um, when you go into the damn to the movies. When you're going, when you're going to um, um, a, a, a party, some type of cool f a, a function where you're going to be chilling out with your guys and some women, you can wear them shoes there. It's an everyday shoe. The LeBron James shoe is for hoopers, really, to go on a court and get busy hooping. Like, it's not a real, sh not a really a shoe that you wear every day with your everyday clothes and all of that. Jordan has that shoe that is a fashionable shoe. And it comes down to fashion, I think, most, most importantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, man, I really do believe that um, if, if let's just say, no, nah, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, because I was going to say, no, nah, Bria, I do believe that if, if, if Michael Jordan had a shoe look like the Kobe 2s, he would be nowhere near the uh, sneaker giant that he is, no matter what he did on the court. You know what I'm saying? And I also believe if Shaq's shoes looked like the Jordans, right, with the Shaq, Shaq logo and a cost, because black people get into cost. We, we like this idea of exclusivity that we the only ones that can get it. You can't get it if you poor, woo, woo, woo. Because really what hurts Shaq's shoe too is the fact that it was so affordable. And unfortunately, in my community, it hurts, it hurts Stephon Marbury's shoe too. Like that it was affordable, $15. And when we come from struggle, we come from poverty, a lot of, well, not all of us, but a certain, a certain amount of us do. When, when you come from those conditions, people, a lot of kids attach themselves to labels and, and, and expensive labels to say, hey, when you got them shoes, it's like a badge of honor in the hood. Yo, I was like, my people are able to get me these shoes and your people probably can't get it. So it makes, I made a lot of black people feel exclusive, you know, when you got certain shoes, especially the Jordan shoe, which, which is an expensive shoe. So if Shaq's shoes look like Michael Jordan's shoes and costed the same amount, and all you did was replace the uh, the Jumpman with Shaq's logo, I believe it would have been, I think it would have been competing with Jordan's shoe. 
or at least a number two behind it. You know what I mean? It's just the, I think Mike makes, I do believe, I don't get me wrong, I do believe the mystique of him helped to initially drive those shoe sales, right? But a lot of these kids ain't never even seen Jordan play. They have no idea, really. They don't have no connection to him. They just saying he the GOAT because they heard other people say it. A lot of these kids, they never seen Mike play. Why are they still, why are they still buying these shoes? Because it's the popular shoe. And it's because it's fly. It's fly. You know what I'm saying? And yes, people follow the trends of time. Mike, um, initially, I do believe it, you know, what helped to launch it was the fact that it's Air Jordan, you know? And but I over time, I think it was selling just because it was fly, it was fashionable. If the shoe was ugly as hell. It wouldn't be doing much. If it looked like a Tim Duncan shoe, a Kawhi Leonard shoe, man, it wasn't going to be doing them numbers like that, no matter what Mike was doing. It wasn't going to work. It worked because, and I do, do believe that Mike's on-court mystique and charisma, again, I always say that it, 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 it helped. But if the shoe was terrible, it wasn't no. So if you want to argue Mike is the GOAT because, again, six for six in the finals, his scoring average, Five league MVPs, six finals MVPs, no game sevens. You want to argue, you know, um, the way he carried the Chicago Bulls is two three-peats. Yes, yes. But the shoes, though, it come down to fashion, bro. If the shoes is ugly, it wouldn't have been shaking on nothing. No matter if Jordan if Jordan had the same resume with some ugly shoes like them Kobe 2s, it wasn't going to hit on nothing, man. You feel me? And the fact of the matter is, people wear Jordans more than LeBron's because LeBron's shoe is a basketball or hooper shoe. Jordan's shoe ain't really for no hoopers. It's for anybody. The girls be wearing Jordan's shoes. It's fashionable. People want to look fly, have fly pictures on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. You know, that's what it come down to. Peace.